Hey guys, Weather Expert here, bringing you guys an awesome video on the weather update, a tropical update, and the latest on the Atlantic. What's going to be happening over the next um, two weeks or so? Um, what's going to be happening for the rest of the season? And how I think it's going to shape up. All right, guys, we're going to start off with the visible satellite of around the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, um, maybe the east east coast a little bit, on um, the southeast coast, and over to the Atlantic. You guys can see that there's this big high pressure system ro rotating clockwise. Um, it's looking pretty predominant, and you guys see the ton of dry air is coming across. Um, behind this tropical wave right here. This tropical wave will likely not develop because of the wind. You can see there's a lot of clouds that are zooming past here, which means there's a lot of wind shear. So this thing is not going to become another Joaquin. Um, it looked, Joaquin almost looked like this um, as it came across the Atlantic. But the problem was they didn't have this trough over here. So yeah, this cold front actually not trough. This cold front that just on, it, it, it just sat around here spun around and then just went down became a category 4 hurricane and luckily it zoomed out that was a very same grace but now what we're going to be watching for the next two weeks is the gulf of mexico and the caribbean usually in um october the cape Verde season starts shutting down we start seeing waves less and less waves coming across the african coast the dust comes back again with an increasing wind shear um in the atlantic but as we get to the caribbean wind shear usually becomes a little bit less but with this El Nino year, there has been no tropical cyclones in the Caribbean. We've had Bill, and that's it. It's in the Gulf of Mexico. There's no storms that have came that have formed in the Caribbean. So it's very hard in this type of El Nino year to get a pretty predominant wave to develop in the Caribbean. You guys see these trade winds are zooming past. That's one of the problems. There's this tropical wave likely won't develop. But um, one of the things I'm going to be watching is models, the ensembles. Not so much the global models. The global models were hinting at this. They're kind of dropping off. But the ensembles are still hinting at this. You do not just look at the operational run. You look at the ensembles, like the GFS ensembles. Look at the ECMWF ensembles. You look at all these ensembles, the CMC, to see if um, members are still showing development. And if members are still showing development, usually the operational models will cave in. You guys can see that there is nothing really going on. But I'm watching this wave closely. Because most likely it's going to drift west and over the next couple of days it's going to sit around here and likely move to the west, north, west. And wind shear is forecasted to lighten up maybe just a little bit. The Caribbean usually right here is really hostile for development. Gulf of Mexico it was not that hostile at this moment. At the moment, And there's there was a GFS that was showing development. Kind of dropped it off. The UK met. Um, the, what am I talking about the UK met? Um, but really, not watching too much development, and I got my little snipping tool right here. This is going to be a very long video update. Let's use my pen right here. So we got increased it. We got customized. We got to go to thick point. Boom. So what happens is we have this tropical wave right here. Most likely going to sit west. Not not, not that. Let's, let's just use this as a reference point like that. It's going to sit around here. Kind of circle. These are very warm waters. And I'm going to show you guys. Most likely going to drift northwest, northwest. And the big question is, where does it go? Models take it off this, off here, or they take it up here. Big question is, um, if it develops, that's a big question. Most models either a just sit around here, disintegrates it, doesn't make it development. Maybe some rain over here, probably. I'm gonna erase all this crap. Uh, yeah. So it's a big question mark. Where the heck this thing is gonna go? And as far as the rest of the season, um, there really is not a lot of development. You have this tropical wave right here, gonna drift this way. I like it up. That's my dog um, panting. But um, you got this. Got this um, cold front that's coming down. It's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be deflecting this thing out. Um, you got this stuff right here. That's my dog being really annoying though. That's that's really annoying the crap out of me. You got dry air, so it's very hostile in this environment. So there might, there's likely not gonna be any more Cape Verde hurricanes or any storms that, as that matter at all. Probably this lit, um, for the rest of the season. Just watch for, it. but as we get into October and November, November usually starts to wind down. But you still can get some pretty nasty hurricanes. I've seen Tomas do it, and let's just um let's go um this new graphic that's a stupid sipping tool. So let's go to um let's go to, um let's go to the ensembles first. Here are the GFS ensembles. Um this is this is right now. You guys see this? There's some ensemble. There's not really any ensemble members picked up on the development. As we go out to about let's say. Yeah, five days. We start seeing some increasing ensemble members over here, kind of showing a little bit of um, a little maybe of an area of low pressure. As we get out to maybe um, day six, we start seeing some more ensemble members. And as we get to day seven, we start seeing some real lowering pressures over here. We might see a little bit of a closed slope. And as we head to about day ten, 
Um, you might you usually don't look ensembles as far out, but you, but ensembles is a little more okay than the operational run. But you guys see some more ensemble members. I've seen storms over here before, and then it increases it and um, increases the pressure system up to a max level of 2.6. So there might be an increase in probability of tropical cyclone development, and it drifts. There's a lot of ensemble members that are saying it's going to drift to the northeast, go over Cuba, maybe impact Florida, and there's some other ensemble members that are saying. It's going to be back here, over here, or over here. So there's a lot of question marks, some models like there. And then we have more activity over here. So it's a very it's very complex right now where this thing's going to go. All I can say is there's a potential for tropical cyclone genesis. I'm not saying if there is going to be development. But right now, oof, the Caribbean has the most heat potential in the basin. I mean, look at this. This is uh, Look at this. It's like 11... I've seen this is about 16 to 17. Uh, it's this thing next to the Bahamas where Joaquin blew up. If you get a cyclone with, with less wind shear, this thing can bomb out like crap. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen. You have to have the right ingredients. Very little wind shear, warm water, which you got that a lot. You got like 31, 32 degrees Celsius waters. Caribbean is known for their hot water. You guys can see that pretty low heat potential out of the East Atlantic. So, really, they're shut down. So far, we've had two major hurricanes. We have had Joaquin down here, and we have had Danny. We've had three hurricanes. We have Fred, which is the most eastern hurricane ever recorded, which is very, very, un which is very unusual. But I want to go with the model right here, and let's look at the NASA GMO. This is an experimental model. And before I show you guys that, um, I just want to show you guys something. If this thing takes a track to the northeast, then it has a lot of potential to develop. If it goes west, then it might not. So here it is. Um, so here's um, some tropical waves over here. We got an increase in precipitation by the NASA. You know this thing's not known for. It. This is an experimental model. Then we start seeing some increase in cloudiness, and we start seeing a little bit more organization over here. And then we start seeing um, a little pressure system start to develop. You guys see some spin. And then we have. Um, let's stop over here. Let's stop. Uh, let's see if we can stop. All right. Let's pull, let's just go to hour 240. Let's say. Let's go to hour 207, let's say. And here it is. Here's an area of low pressure, 1,006 millibars or so, 1,005. As we go to 228 hours out, we start seeing some organization, 1,004 millibars. That's a weak tropical storm. And we had a two, 240 hours out, and yeah, we got, we got a big problem um, growing in the, Carib in the Gulf of Mexico. Because once, the, once these are in the Gulf of Mexico, these things can either disintegrate from the wind shear or they can bomb out like nothing. I mean, if we go to the last night, not last night's, um, yeah, if we go yesterday's, um, you see this is a full-blown hurricane coming up here. So it's still showing development. That's the most important thing. I'm not saying if it's going to be um, a hurricane. Um, it's not going to, I'm not saying it's going to be a tropical storm. I'm not even saying if it's going to become a tropical pressure, but I'm just saying there is evidence of a tropical wave coming across here. And we got to watch these closely for this type of season because look at the vorticity on this thing. Let's go to 850 millibars. You guys see it's got a pretty predominant, and we go 240 hours. Let's see how much it's strengthened. Um, it's strengthening a little bit, you know, not too much, but it's gonna head, it's show, NASA saying it's going to head northeast. And GFS a couple nights, we're actually agreeing with this, a hurricane developing over here and heading right into the Florida coast. But this is very, 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 and it's the GFS. They actually have the GFS. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see, 240. Okay, I thought they had it. Oh, I don't have the data available. But yeah, guys, that's really going to wrap up. Sorry for this very lengthy update. I'm just showing you guys the potential for development as we um, head to November, October, actually. Late October, we start focusing over here. We don't focus really at all over here. But really, we start, we can still, I'm still watching this area for potential tropical waves developing because I've seen waves do it before in the late in the season. Tomas, uh, 2010, it came across as a tropical wave, developed into a hurricane over here, and then it just impacted Hispaniola on an epic level, tons of rain. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be um, showing more videos in the future. Yeah, guys, see you next video. Peace out, y'all.